What's going on, guys? Fuck Subway. I know you're thinking, what the fuck? Why would you say fuck Subway outside of the, you know, Jared Focal bullshit? Alright, what have they done? Well, let me talk about it. I went to uh, the Subway close to me recently. As reason behind it because I don't really fuck with them the long way at all ever since the Jared Fogel thing um I just don't support child any kind of thing endangerment of any kind I don't I don't have this thing where I like to go to places where they have a history of supporting some type of you know indecent uh child activity so we has Jared Fogel Trump has the Alabama bullshit I just don't support that shit. Um, so, one day I was rolling around, you know, like I normally do on my day off, just kind of, you know, going about whatever. And I couldn't think of what the fuck to go get. I was like, what, what do I want? What, what should I get, right? And because it was so late, I was already by my house. I was away from everything. I was like, this is the only thing here. Pulled into the subway park and I was like, I don't know what I should have. You know, I'm like, I, I eat chicken all the time. I'm like, I'll just get chicken, right? How hard could this be? I was like, I'm pretty sure they have a chicken teriyaki because it's been so many years since I've been there. I was questioning what they did versus didn't have. It's been years. Um, now, I go in there and I get I look at the bread and I'm like what bread did I used to have so I'm thinking about it and I'm like I swear it's the honey oat right I'm like I think the honey oat is the bread that I like I'm like I'm pretty sure that's the bread um so I get the you know the full on sub right I think it's a foot long uh and it's the chicken teriyaki one and I tell her what to put on there and everything and Everything looks good, right? I, I look at the top, top's fine. She wraps it up and does everything, right? I pay for it, it's like nine dollars and closer to ten bucks. And I'm thinking, fuck, I could have spent that much somewhere else and gotten probably more shit, right? But due to the fact I was close to the house, I didn't want to do that. So I get home, I unwrap the sub. And when you unwrap their subs, you ha you're looking at them upside down for some reason. I don't know why that is. When they wrap it up, it's sitting upright. But when you unwrap it, it's upside down. So anyway, it's upside down. And I notice the bread is not right. Like, I watched her do everything. The bread was right. The bread is what it was supposed to be. But when I got at home, the bottom of the bread wasn't right. What does that mean? Well, it was moldy <laughs> from one end to the next. It, complete mold throughout this piece of fucking bread on the bottom um so because it was at the end of their day i was like you know the last customer they had i was a one in their last 15 minutes of the day and i called them hoping someone would answer and i was like i don't know if i'm gonna get an answer or not so i called them someone answered the phone luckily they answered the phone i told them that i had mold on this bread i wasn't gonna eat it i didn't want to eat it and I, the guy on the phone goes, dude, due to the fact that you got mold on your bread, we'll give you a refund tomorrow because we are closed or we can remake the sandwich. We was, I told him straight up, I was like, I just want my money back because I don't want to eat here. Obviously, I don't want to eat here because you sold me moldy bread. That's easy, right? That's an easy thing to do uh, when it comes to the food industry. Hey, man, you sold me some mold in order for me to shut the fuck up. Just give me my money back. We'll pretend this never happened and I'll go about my business. I'll never come back in here, but I'll go about my business and you'll never hear a peep out of me. Correct? That's what happens. This dumbass at this location decides if I don't have a receipt, I don't get a refund. Bruh, you sold me moldy ass fucking bread. Okay, I don't care if I have a receipt or not. I work in the food industry just like you do. If a person comes into the store I work at and we've sold them moldy shit, 
we give them a refund plus coupons for shit later on down the road plus we offer to remake it for them right then what the fuck was this shit the very next day i go in there to get my refund now mind you i didn't throw the sandwich out. i just kept it I wrapped it all back up put it back in a bag tied the bag up put it to the side now i go back in there the very next day before i gotta go to work and it's someone i didn't see like the night before obviously this person doesn't work the uh closing shift she works like the morning to midday and she looks at it. She knows who I am because, you know, they left a note in the bag saying someone's always going to come in. But she knows who I am because I have to say I'm the only guy coming back in with a sandwich, right? So I go back in there. She tells me that her boss says not to give me a refund unless I have a receipt. I would have told him that in his face before I punched him in his face. Fuck you. If I see mold on that bread, if he brings it to me and I see mold on that bread, I'm giving him his money back. You feel what I'm saying, dude? That's just common sense. Um, but what she tells me is she can't give me a refund due to the store manager telling her not to. Yet, she can see the fucking thing because I have handed it to her. You see what I'm saying? I handed it to her so she could see that the bread had mold on it. She flipped it over, looked at it, and was like, I don't know why they didn't catch this. Um, all the bread is fresh today, and I'm like, I don't care what the fuck today is. That was from just last night. I don't want to eat here, you know. Just like any sane person with a brain in their skull who gets served mold, you're not going back to that particular restaurant. Now, what did she want to do for me in terms of making it right? She wanted to give me coupons. Coupons. For half, for a six cents. I bought a whole, not a half. I bought a whole. She wanted to give me coupons, two coupons to equal the value of the sandwich. And I was like, I, I'm not coming back in here. <laughs> I'm like, I won't be coming back in here probably uh, as long as the store's here. I, I'm probably not ever coming back in here. I already don't fuck with Subway like that. I don't plan on coming back in here. You blew your one chance with me. I'm like, that's why I want my money back. It's as simple as that. You know, I'm being very calm about it. You know. And she goes, well, we can't, I can't really do anything. And then she starts throwing this out. Which is, I could have already made you something instead of sitting here arguing with you. Uh, no, absolutely not. You don't get to have that opinion. You're already on your knees for your fucking boss. Who's in the wrong. You know he's in the wrong. And what you want to do is force a remake on me. I don't want a remake. I don't trust anything you have in this fucking store. Unless I see a truck out back. I don't trust a damn thing. You just served me mold from last night. So what does she do? She gives me three stupid fucking coupons. Three. To the same one fucking store that I really don't want to go to ever again. So, what I did is I went on my Twitter page, by the way, follow me on Twitter if you are not already, because you'll hear about these things right when they happen, because I would talk, come out and said something about it a long time ago, only difference is that the reason I didn't is because I was told they were actually going to have this man contact me, and he is not, so pussy ass motherfucker, um, feel me. Um, I called the corporate number, you know, and the corporate number was like, well, we did give you like a $10, uh, digital coupon, a digital gift card. And I was like, dude, that's, I'm like, it's not even about the money. I'm like, it's really not. I want, I want something to be done about the stupid, cynical piece of shit running this company. Whoever's running that store doesn't need to be running that store because they feel like, they're entitled to keep the money when they are clearly in the wrong. You know, that's the type of person that doesn't need to be running your stores. Because that's the type of person that's going to make your company look bad. Outside you having a spokesman who fucks little children. Okay, that aside. 
you need to be doing everything you can as a company to be going, hey, how do we not fuck this up? How do we not, you know? Well, our motto is eat fresh. He got a molded ass piece of bread. Well, our sandwiches on both ends are bread, and he got a moldy piece of bread. Um, maybe give him his money back, and then go with offering him free shit, like a sandwich, or some coupons to be used later down the road. As to say we're sorry, that's common sense, people. Common fucking sense. Excuse me, I've gotten less lip from fuck-ups at a McDonald's when I used to go. I got less lip from a drive through incident with a McDonald's because they handed me two large fries instead of the fucking order I had placed. Like, legitimately got less lip from them. That's insane. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, if you ever find yourself on the Burnt Hickory Road um, in Cartersville, because this is where this happened, Burnt Hickory Road, Cartersville, 800, so 800 Burnt Hickory Road, Cartersville, that store. They serve you moldy ass fucking bread and will give you nothing in exchange uh, for this. Meaning, they won't give you your money back. They'll just take your money and run and offer you a remake, even though you don't want to eat there anymore because they sold you moldy fucking bread. You know what I'm saying to you? I don't think it's right. Um. The only person who was in the right here is the person I talked to who closed the night that I got served that because he was willing to give me my money back. But the problem is I live further away from that than it would have, you know, he was like, can you make it back in 10 minutes? I was like, dude, I live like 30 minutes, if not longer away. I'm not going to make it back in time. He's the only one, the only one who actually gave a damn. The store manager doesn't give a flying fuck. The manager on duty could give a shit less. She wanted to argue with me instead. She wanted to sit there and fuss and fight back and forth. And like I said, I work in the food industry. I, I know how that shit works. Trust me, I deal with dumbasses on the daily. Only difference between me going in there with this and them is I had my shit right there in front of your fucking face. The people I deal with don't have anything in my face and they're on the phone. That's a world of difference, lady. A world of difference. And I will go as far as to say I hope he loses his fucking store, she loses her job, and they get something better because, uh, bitch, you shouldn't be working in the food industry if you're not willing to step on your own boss's toes when he's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you won't be able to keep your job that long if you do that. If you know the customer is right and your boss is wrong and it can come back and bite you in the ass, fuck him. Fuck him. You understand what I'm saying? Because how many bosses have ever looked you dead in your eye in the food industry and said, you, you know, we can replace you? Exactly. If them motherfuckers can do that, Fuck what the hell they tell you. If you see that kind of shit, if you see somebody with moldy fucking bread or have a problem with their shit and they're actually in the right for a refund here, give them the fucking refund. Otherwise, you don't deserve a damn thing. You don't deserve anything. You don't deserve that damn job. You don't deserve to be working because you are part of the problem. You get what I'm saying to you? Now, I could care less who it is. Okay, I know there's going to be one or two people. Well, you're saying that because she's a girl. No, I could care less if it was a guy. If I got to see this fucking moron in person, trust me, it would probably lead to a very heated argument back and forth to where I'm ready to throw hands on him because of his ignorance. You see what I'm saying? 
You don't do that to people in the food industry. Imagine had I eaten a piece of that motherfucking sandwich with the mold on it and gotten sick. Then what? You see what I'm saying? Play it safe, not stupid. That's the moral. You get what I'm saying? If I had eaten it, oh, then you would have a major fucking lawsuit on your hands. Instead, I'm just going to do exactly what the fuck I know to do. Yelp the motherfucker, Google the motherfucker. Uh, this, all social medias, Twitters, all that shit. I'm blowing them up, putting out there that they sell this shit. And Subway listens can get on there talking about what we thought we were all. You ain't got to do shit on that corporate level because I know you can't do shit because they're franchised out because you're too damn dumb to go into certain ones and get a hold of them and put them in order. I know. I know how it works. And it's nothing against that part of you that has your shit together. It's about the fact that the ones that don't, you can't even do nothing with. Then why in the fuck you got them? Alright. So I'm not ever going to Subway again. Fuck Subway. I'm, I'm done with them. I'm wiping my hands. Fuck, fuck out of here. But like I said. Anybody who does that, I don't care who it is, could be a man, woman, you know, whatever. If you have proof right in front of you, go against him. Go against that person. Go against whoever it is who's higher above you telling you to do wrong. Because at the end of the day, this is your favorite saying. Pull the motherfucking tape. Because 90% of places are being recorded, if not higher. Tell that man to pull the fucking tape. If he says no, or if she says no, say, well, I'm not going to apologize for it. Fuck them. Walk out. Take that shit that you just learned higher above their head to the Department of Health or, you know, George, what is it, the state uh, labor law thing? And let them know because they will go and they will pull the fucking tapes. They'll be like, we want the tapes from this day. We want the tapes from this day. And we want to see what the fuck's going on. Ruin that person. Be part of the solution. Feel what I'm saying? If you're willing to stand there and go, I'm not going to help you even though I can see it. You don't deserve a damn thing. You don't deserve anything. You deserve all the negative shit that'll happen to him, whoever owns it, and yourself. Because, bitch, you put it on yourself. You feel me? Like I said, I'd have never talked about this. I'd have never said a word about this. I wouldn't even go on. Like, I went on Twitter and posted up two things. I would have never even done that. And they just had the fucking, you know, common sense to just give me my fucking money back and it's not like I'm in desperate need of it it's just common sense common courtesy to go we're in the wrong my bad here you go is there anything else I can do to make this better it's just common fucking sense so it is what it is fuck Subway fuck them the long way um, I noticed a lot of these really, really big, uh, you know, outrageous amounts of places eventually get closed down. Subway, yours is around the corner. That's just real. Because the one I've been talking about this whole time is never really that fucking busy. I've never seen them packed. I've never seen... Just a whole shit ton of cars in their parking lot. It doesn't happen. And you would think it would because it's in the same parking lot as gas station. Nope. Nobody really gives a damn. So. And I know someone. Well that should have given you a fucking clue as to not go there. Not really. A bunch of places that are in the same places as gas station are like pizza joints. Like Domino's. Pizza Hut. Papa John's. You know, places like that, they tend to hang around, like little Delco's, tend to hang around in the same parking lot as a gas station. And 
they're not ever bad unless you just have one in the area that just doesn't give a flying fuck so i can't say that that was a key factor in the reason why my experience was the way it was but that's what i want to put out there you feel what i'm saying so anyway deuces